Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fourth video in my moving series. We officially have one week until we have to be packed up and moved out of our home and that feels so surreal and so chaotic and there's so much pressure. So if you are new around here, you do not know that I'm a mommy to six and we are currently packing up and getting ready to move our family of eight cross country to Florida. So there is tons to do and it's a little crazy around here. If you have missed my moving series thus far, I have been putting out a new video every Thursday, just bringing my channel along on that process. I will link the playlist right up here in the cards, so be sure to check that out. But we are in crunch time and I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys along on the final days of packing. I have so much moving content coming your way, so if you are new around here, please be sure to subscribe. Plus a lot of fun content once we get to the new home. Um, here on my channel, I've always enjoyed like showing you the real life of like being a mom of six and kind of like what the day to day is like. But I also have always loved showing you like home renovations, home decor. If you've been around here for a while, you know that. So I'm super excited to introduce you to a new home and bring you along on the decorating and designing process there. So lots of content coming your way. So like I said, please be sure to subscribe. But we've actually been doing a lot today and I forgot to bring you guys along with me. So I'm gonna show you what we have done thus far and then bring you along on the rest of the packing. My two brother-in-laws actually just got a new apartment together and they didn't have a lot of furniture. So the furniture that we're not using, I'm just handing down to them. So they came and got Paxton's bed and our kitchen table that the kids always eat off of. So we currently do not have a bed in Paxton's room or a kitchen table for the kids. But our two big boys are actually going to be sharing a room at the new house. We are going to be in a rental for a year, so we're downsizing just a tad until we can find like our dream home in Florida. So it'll be fine, but I did find queen over queen bunk beds, which I didn't even know existed, but I'm super excited about that. So anyways, his bed's gone, kitchen table's gone. Today I have been working on these front closets and I've pretty much cleared them out. We just have the shoes left for the kids to wear for the next few days. She's over there cranky. Hey, what's the matter? She's eating on the floor because we no longer have a kitchen table. These are all the boxes that I've packed so far. And then I also cleared out this hutch. So all of our homeschool stuff used to be in here. And I cleared out all the drawers and everything that we kept from this hutch is in these two boxes. I did have a brief moment of like, uh, when I got rid of all of our homeschool workbooks from this year because we are transferring states. I've been in contact with the um, school that the kids are going to be going to and she said that she did not need to see my workbooks. So I went ahead and got rid of them because there's no need for me to move used workbooks all the way to Florida with us. So fingers crossed that doesn't come to bite me in the butt. If it does, I guess I'll just show her my homeschool videos and be like, I promise I did it. but. All that's packed up. She's mad. I'm going to grab her out of the high chair really quick. So things are starting to look so bare and different around here and we actually gifted our kitchen table to my brother-in-laws as well. So this is the rug that was under our kitchen table and it needed a good thorough deep cleaning. We are planning on using this rug in our rental space but not in the kitchen. We're actually going to put it in the boys loft area and so we wanted to try to salvage it and we are using a combination of a carpet cleaner and my trusty Folex. If you all do not have Folex in your life, you need it. This is not sponsored. I get it off of Amazon, but it literally takes stains out of everything. The other day, my four-year-old and his friend actually colored all over my brand new sectional that sits in my front room. It's an ivory sectional, and they used red marker and blue crayon and colored all over it. I thought I was going to die when I saw it, but I pulled out my Folex and sprayed and all of the stains came out with like no problem. Kiss in the dark till we fall off the bed. Played all my cards, now you live in my head. Taste of your sweat when you're wearing my sweatshirt. Wrap your legs around me again. Thinking of you when 
when I'm out with the boys Dreaming of you cause I don't have a choice Lay on your curse cause it's your universe Rip the heartbeat out of my chest The majority of today's video is going to be spent in my kitchen packing it up. This is the space that I have been putting off packing because honestly, once you pack your kitchen, like life is just kind of like not as it should be. I went to Walgreens and purchased a bunch of like paper products, solo cups, plastic utensils, etc. And we're just using those and barely scraping by right now because I feel like once your kitchen is packed up, it's just... A mess. So I've been putting it off, but it was time to tackle it and it took a while, obviously. But if you have not been around my channel very long, then you do not know that over the course of the last three years, we have been renovating this home and we truly just made it our own. And I love the way it turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and link right here in the cards, the before and after videos that I've done of this space, as well as my furnished home tour. That shows kind of what the house used to look like before we started tearing it all apart. So if you're new here, start there. I will say that it's much easier to pack plastic stuff than it is the glass stuff. We're kind of just throwing plastic dishes, plastic water bottles, etc. in this box and calling it done. We might put some parchment paper around it just to keep it from shaking, but so much easier than packing the glass. We stayed up all night, hot like a lead balloon that fell from the sky. Stare at the moon, see a light in the night Your spirit is on my mind Ooh, you smile when you plan I see how I touch and I turn Till I'm lost in your seat All your birds in your song Till I'm falling asleep Baby, you're so real I'm getting fly I'm getting fly our moving playpen because this girl started crawling right when it was inconvenient so daddy trapped her in a box it's a good egg
been getting lots of questions about why we decided to move to Florida and if you missed my original moving video, I explained it a little bit there. But when my husband and I were thinking about long-term vision for our family, we would love to be close to our children and our grandchildren one day. And we honestly just did not want that to be in a place that had hard winters. We personally hate winter. We actually escaped to Florida this past winter and we just enjoyed the sunshine. We enjoyed being on the beach in January and after this past crazy year and life kind of being all up in the air anyways we decided that this was just the best time to make the jump totally uproot our lives and change it up a bit so I would be lying if I said that I wasn't nervous about that we had a conversation earlier today about how everything's about to change and how I hope this wasn't a mistake but if you never try, then you never know. And honestly, we just really feel like this is going to be the best decision for us and for our children. We're also going to be changing things up a bit when we get to Florida. Our kids will no longer be homeschooled, but they will be attending public school. My five-year-old will be attending VPK, which is something that Kentucky does not have. It's kind of like a transitional kindergarten program, and I'll get to enjoy my babies at home. So there's lots of changes coming up, and we're excited, we're emotional, we're scared, we're excited, we're... All the feelings, every feeling that you could possibly imagine um, is going through my head right now. I keep telling myself, like, this is my last Wednesday in my home. This is my last Tuesday in my home. And that's kind of like surreal. But we are excited about the adventure. <laughs> Mama said, don't be a quitter, and you'll end up all right. Looking back, I remember she was probably right. Been knocked down, I've been beat up. What can I do? I'm making it through, oh. another day my big kids are once again at vacation bible school and i have been working tirelessly on the kitchen still the kitchen i swear is like one of the hardest rooms to pack up when you are moving but i also just got ugh, news that the new the new owners want to do a final walkthrough tomorrow morning i mean i love that for me <laughs> Our house is in shambles right now. Like we had our real estate agent let them know like, hey, our moving truck's gonna be here. There's boxes everywhere. Like there's really, like the house isn't clean. Um, but they basically just wanted to do like one final walkthrough to make sure like we hadn't put any like major holes in the wall or damaged anything in the course of like the last time they saw it in closing, which is understandable. But I mean like my house is a mess, so. It's not gonna show well. I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm working with, but um, we've got a lot done. I think tonight, since they're going to do that, I will take the time to just like walk through the house, clean the bathrooms, you know, vacuum what I can, do like a quick little clean sweep, just so it's not a disaster. But it's also super inconvenient because like I said, I had my kids in vacation Bible school this week. That way I could like work without stopping um, during the morning hours and now that's like dead in the middle of that. So I'm not super excited about it. It is what it is, but it's very inconvenient. So I'm going to show you what I'm working with right now. Um, it's still a mess. We did have our real estate agent let them know that the plan is for us to have everything out by Sunday. And then I was going to spend all day Monday cleaning the house. So the house will be clean for them when they move in, but it's not clean right now. So anyways, let me flip you around. So this is the state of the kitchen. I'm packing another box right now. I have got almost all of the cabinets and drawers emptied out at this point. Um, over here, I was just starting to work on this area. 
And then I have all of this glassware going to Goodwill, trash. My pantry is still full. So we are here until Sunday. So we're basically going to eat what we can. So for the pantry items, I'm going to decide like what little bit I could like pack for like snacks for the kids between like um, us leaving the house and getting to Florida. And then the refrigerated stuff, I think I'm just gonna have my dad come over and see if he wants anything. So our family will be moving with us to Florida. I don't know if I've said that before. My in-laws just listed their house. My dad has an apartment currently and his lease is up in September. So he's going to come down in July and look for rentals around the area and move in September. So we're not leaving our family. The only person I'm leaving is my sister, which really makes me sad, but they will be coming with us. But I told my dad, I said, if you just wanna go through my refrigerated stuff, take what you can use because we're not going to try to like pack a cooler to keep items cold for like a week. Like that's just not gonna happen. It's not realistic. So this will be kind of like last minute clean out, but I'm trying to finish the kitchen. Then I'm gonna head into the laundry room closet. Um, there's still so much to do. I cannot believe they wanna do a walkthrough tomorrow. I mean, I guess it's like not unheard of, but like, <sighs> it's stressful. It's all I could do. I'm making it through. Oh, making it through. So our living room is looking a little bit different. We actually just sold our big sofa. We are taking this one with us to Florida to put in the boys room, but it's like looking so bare in here. And then look what was underneath the couch. I mean like how does all of this even get under a couch? Since the new owners are coming through tomorrow for a walkthrough, I'm gonna kind of just try to like clean everything up really quick to the best of my ability. It's not gonna be spotless. Just kind of get it like clean swept, looking a little bit better. And then I think I'm gonna keep on packing tonight. We shall see. I'm taking chances if they land you might remember my name. Still standing after all the rest have faded away. I'll go the distance in the end. You'll be looking at me. Yeah, I'll be, yeah. Last man standing, I'll be the only one who's holding on. I'll be the last man standing, I'll be strong, yeah. I'll be oh, the last man standing, I'll be the only one who's holding on. I'll be the last man standing. what I just pulled out of that drawer. That is an old school regular Nintendo circa like 1990s. We honestly never touch it but it's like one of those things where we like haven't brought ourselves to get rid of it. Although we have been looking on eBay and apparently we can make a pretty penny off of it. So we might be selling it here in the near future. But let me know in the comments below if you played on one of those during your childhood. I'm yours and you're mine The thought of it is dancing in my mind There's nothing that can keep me from your side Oh, I'll pull you close For the rest of my life I'll keep you Love safe here and locked in my chest Yeah, ooh, baby, no, I love you to death I'll keep it short and sweet and say it again Carrying you through the lows and highs Don't 
Don't you worry, say what's on your mind When I pull you close I see the spark in your eyes I keep you no safe here and locked in my chest yeah. Ooh, baby, no, I love you dead I'll keep it short and sweet and say it again You're no safe with me And you Keep it short, sweet, say it again. Your love safe with me. I keep it. I've got this room put back together to where I feel like it actually looks good for the new buyers to walk through and see. Um, not perfect, but not a mess. We wear each other like Kevlar. We guide each other like a lighthouse in the dark. Even if the world falls. behind me up in the attic taking out a giant bird's nest it was like one of the things that was pointed out in our inspection that there was like this massive bird's nest in the attic space we've never gone up there so we had no idea but um, my husband's a licensed general contractor and so they agreed that he could just handle all of the like small inspection things that the buyers wanted us to fix and getting rid of that nest was one of the things so God love him. It's hot up there. We waited till this evening so it wouldn't be so humid, but he has like five like huge contractor bags up there getting rid of, rid of this nest. It's actually impressive. I'm wondering if like maybe birds live there like during the winter. I don't know. We also had to replace like end caps on our roof. They think that that's how uh, the birds got in. So he replaced those um, as well, but God love him. I bet on us against the world You can't
cleaned the other upstairs bathroom. The kids took care of the basement and I'm just going to do a clean sweep of like the main floor bathroom slash kitchen before they walk through tomorrow. And then I think that's good enough because obviously they understand that we are moving. But with that being said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I have so much more to do, but the next video is actually going to be us loading our moving truck. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already. That way you do not miss any of the upcoming moving content. Lots of fun and exciting videos to come once we get to Florida. And I'm excited to kind of get back into like decorating videos once we get there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Broken.